Okay, so Aaron, take us through a little bit about PowerPlay and the platform itself, if you could. Maybe just a little bit of an introduction about what you guys actually get up to and how you are helping out uh, to change the way things are at the moment using Web3. Web3 is a very powerful overlay. So demand management is one of those, um, it's, it's one of those aspects of energy transition that uh, that's, you know, that is, has a lot of potential to actually generate value. So one of the solutions that we all know about uh, for uh, addressing this mismatch between energy use, and you can see, see here energy use, and when it's being produced is batteries. Now the problem with batteries is they're great, but they are expensive. And there's actually an impending kind of lithium shortage as well. So we do need to look for other solutions. So every kilowatt hour that we incentive, we incentivize people to uh, optimize the usage and shift that from say 6 p.m. Uh, you know, turn the dishwasher on at 6 p.m. to the daytime uh, is one less kilowatt hour that we need storage for. So we but can really accelerate energy transition yeah. with that with that approach. And the way we plan to incentivize it is to in, uh, to reward our customers with an asset, and that asset has the potential to grow in value over time. And it has a utility, so it can generate a yield, uh, and that yield is a power bill discount. And from my background in renewable energy, I know that people are very interested in investing in renewables to do something about their power bill. And it's you know it's it's something that uh, it, a, a big part of the market is missing out on. So generally, only homeowners uh, are really investing in solar. It's very hard for people in rentals and apartments to actually get the benefit of solar panels. And unfortunately. Uh, you know, that means they're not really engaged in how to optimize their energy use to make it the best outcome for them. So what yeah. we say is, look, the, the energy in the grid is, is very low cost during the middle of the day. If you can mm. shift some of your usage to that period, not only are you doing something good for the planet, but you're actually generating a, a big saving and a big avoided cost. A recent study uh, by Arena showed that there's, you know, $2 billion of potential in that marketplace. So um, what we're proposing is with the consumer and the way we do that is with our web3 um, remy token which generates that power yield and it's a it's a loyalty scheme as well so you know the more people stick with us uh, the more tokens they'll generate which gives them access to bigger and bigger savings with the vision being that someone who's renting that sticks with us for for a number of years can generate uh, accumulate quite a lot of remy which obviously has its own value and the yield on that remy is a bigger and bigger discount. And so someone renting, you know, can technically reduce their bill to the point where it's zeroed out and then they can take it with them from time to time, similar to owning their own solar system, which is something I'm really excited about. And that's that's really the, the reason that the project was developed. In time, we want to offer further functionality for the Remy token. So you can stake it to generate carbon credits and you can stake it to get a, a piece of a solar farm or a large battery project or, or other energy type projects.